Welcome to the Cougar Cast here at the Kokomo Post Sports. I'm your host, Jay Stevens, and this is the place to get all the information on what's going on inside the athletic department at IU Kokomo. And joining us today for a special episode, we are going to be previewing and discussing athletes, track and field athletes that will be competing in the national meet, the NAIA national meet. and in Marion, Indiana. To my right, she was here for the indoor national meet. She here once again going to the outdoor national meet as well. She won the River States Conference newcomer, female newcomer of the year, then also field athlete of the year for the female as well. She hit a standard in two events in hammer and shot put. A freshman, Sydney Duncan, welcome back to the show. How nervous are you right now? Uh, pretty nervous right now. <laughs> Thanks for asking, I guess. <laughs> no problem. And to her right is a senior. It's uh, she won. She hit a standard in javelin. Uh, Northwestern High School grad from Kokomo, majoring in nursing. Won field athlete of the week for the female side for the conference one time during the outdoor season. It's Emma Byram. Are you nervous? Slightly. Slightly. So the serious side's coming out already. Yes. Well, we're going to stick with you here quickly, <laughs> Emma. Javelin is one of those sports that I don't believe people in Indiana do on the field at part of the track and field events. How difficult was it, if at all, for you to learn that event? Um, yeah, you're correct. They do not do Javelin in high school in Indiana, which is, I feel like, what makes our program pretty special because me and my coach, Jordan Five Coat, started learning about Javelin, and we knew nothing about it three years ago. And I felt like it was pretty easy because Jordan and I went out like most days of the week when I was doing the heptathlon, which is seven different events combined. And we worked on it and we literally started from scratch. We knew nothing. So I would say at the beginning it was difficult, like working through what we were supposed to do since we had never done javelin before. But obviously we've ended up in a really great place. and with a really great program. You know, now it's not just like one person doing javelin, it's we have a bunch of people doing javelin, like 10, 10 or 12 people doing javelin. You're also from Indiana and you're competing in this biggie meet in hammer throw. Was that hard for you to pick up this year? Um, yeah, it's it's not easy. Um, a lot of, it's very technical. Okay. So just, I mean, I'm sort of a natural given the fact that I did pick it up so quickly, yeah, yeah. but it's it's not as easy as people make it look. It doesn't look easy at all. No, neither <laughs> Javelin nor Hammer, none of them look easy. What's practice like? How do I, picking up maybe easily or maybe one thing, but also like practicing every single day with it being so technical, what type of things did you learn from the technical side of things that have made you so good your freshman year, first time picking it up, getting A standard pretty quickly? Um, it's really just, it's a lot of reps. Like, Grant gives us drills all the time that we do, and we constantly do footwork, and he, like, modifies specific things for us to do and work on. So really just repetition really just gets the technique in your head so that when you're competing, you don't have to think about it as much. Interesting. Interesting. We've heard her story, Sydney's story, about her coming to IUK and why she chose IUK. I think Coach Colvin told her last time he was on the show we haven't heard yours, though. Why did you choose to come to IUK? Well, I ended up coming to IUK because it was COVID year, mm. and I wasn't really sure where I wanted to go. I knew I wanted to do nursing, but um, I was actually on a Zoom call with Colvin when he worked in admissions, and um, I asked about the Cole Fitness Center, which is where we do most of our workouts yeah. and stuff, and he was like, oh, you seem like someone that'd be interested in that. And I was like, how do you know me? He's like, well, I've been looking at your stats. And I was wondering if you wanted to be on our track and field team. And I was just blown away because during COVID year, like I felt like I lost all my opportunities mm -hmm. to get recruited in college to compete. So I just felt really blessed to be able to actually get to compete in college. And I've ended up being here all four years and getting to compete at conference every year, which has been awesome. Did you ever think you would go to college in Kokomo? No, I actually didn't. I was planning on going to Purdue. So Oh. I was planning on just being here my freshman year and then transferring out, but I ended up staying because I love track and field so much. Coach Colvin, I've heard a lot of people tell stories about him and the impact that he's had on them getting to IU Kokomo. What impact has he had on you since you've been a part of the team that he's coaching? I mean, Colvin obviously was the one that 
pretty much got me here and recruited me here. And um, I guess since I've been here, he's definitely been a really solid figure. Like he knows what he's doing, knows what he's talking about. He makes sure that all of us get taken care of and mm-hmm. all of our like basic like needs are met. So it's been a, it's been a pretty good job so far, if I say so myself. <laughs> How do you girls handle the difficult parts of a track meet when things maybe don't go your way? Uh, yeah, I'm still working on that a little bit. <laughs> Not a place where I am thriving yet, but uh, I'll, I'll hopefully get there eventually. Um, yeah, I would say definitely as a freshman, I've improved. Like I've improved a lot since my freshman year. I used to not handle loss or not hitting PRs very well, but as I've grown and as I've matured and learned more about the sport, I've realized that like the best thing you can do is get right back out there and keep cheering for your teammates and keep uplifting other people because that brings your spirits back up and brings you back to the real purpose of track and field, which is being a part of a team and being a leader. So weird. Cause I was talking to a tennis coach earlier this year, coaching actually at Northwest at the new girls tennis coach out there. And he was talking about him playing tennis in high school was a, he liked it for the team aspect. And in my brain, I'm thinking, dude, you're playing tennis. It's basically an individual sport. There's doubles, but mainly it's a singles sport. And he's like, no, well, those are, uh, those things are true, but I really enjoy the team aspect. And you talk about the team here as well. I, I can only imagine what it's been like for you to be a part of this track and field program for four years and the teammates you've been able to see for four years, maybe one year, maybe a semester, and some of the friendships you've made along the way. What has uh, the team aspect, how has that impacted your life? It has impacted my life in a lot of different ways. And I would say, I think the biggest takeaway I'm going to have from being on the track and field team is learning how to be a good leader to lots of different personalities because obviously track and field teams are pretty big. So you get to run into a lot of different people with a lot of different focuses and like different lifestyles and the way they approach the sport and all of those things. So learning how to be um, a good leader for all of those different types of people. When it comes to track and field for you, Sydney, is it, what do you like the individual aspect of the, Uh, the event you're competing in at that point in time, or does the fact that you're a part of a team outweigh that part of being on the track and field team at IUK? I would say, honestly, it's split pretty 50-50. I really like the fact that my performance depends on what I'm doing that day and how I've prepared. But at the end of the day, like supporting your teammates and making sure that they're competing at their best is just as important as how good you're competing. Emma, what was it like the first time you met Sydney? When was the first time I met you? Actually? It was the it was my visit. We had oh yeah lunch at she yeah. Was, I knew she was legit. Okay. Right away. Oh, yes. I was like she <laughs> she takes things very seriously. I can relate to that. And she had a lot of great questions to ask about our program, which really impressed me. Okay. Because when you get a recruit on campus and they're asking those good questions about like you know what are um what are the things that are great about this program? What are the things you could see improvement on and that that just shows a lot of maturity and responsibility she didn't really say anything bad about you i was hoping to get i was waiting for i was like emma's gonna be like "Mm, i don't really like her at first but (laughs) (laughs) what was it like for you the first time you met emma um the whole experience was very overwhelming and grant and colvin can tell you that i looked like a deer in the headlights the entire time Ooh. i hadn't been on a visit before so i didn't really know like what to expect or what was happening And then it was just like, it was a very long day. So by the time we got to the team dinner where I met everybody, I was like, I was like, I don't know what to ask. I don't know what to do. I'm just sitting here like someone like get, tell me what questions I'm supposed to ask right now. So um, I did love Emma from the start though. Like she was talking to me the entire time yeah. and I was like, she knows what's going on. I thought it was so cool that she threw jab and then she threw shot and I was like, okay, well, Emma's pretty chill. So what do we find? Interesting. I was hoping to get like some like personal jabs. Like I don't like this person. I don't like her at all. No, there's none of that. No, I really no. loved Emma from the start. Yeah. Do you guys compete with each other in meets? I can't well, compete with her. Can any? Can anybody? <laughs> That's okay because I can compete with her in jabs, so it's fine. So it works out. Yeah, it all evens out. It evens out. Do you ever get upset when she when Do you ever get upset when she beats you? Oh no. In the fall, when we first got here, when he, when she first started, did you get upset at all? Uh, no, absolutely not. No. I've 
my shot put journey has actually, I know that's not what we're here to talk about. I don't care. But that's been, no, keep going. That's been huge for me because in high school, I threw, I think 29 feet was my PR. And at conference this year, I threw 41 three inches. Wow. And so that is a huge yeah. improvement from where I was in high school. So I feel like um, we, in our program, we really push how far can you throw? Like, what is your PR? Mm -hmm. Like, what is, you know, finding your potential yeah. versus comparing yourself to other people? That's not really how we roll. So, like, we rejoice for each other. If, yeah. if I had, like, a one-inch PR and she had a one-foot PR, we still rejoice for each other the same. That's amazing. That's the, like, modus operandi of our program. That's amazing because I remember now I threw shot put and discus two years in high school. I was trash. Now you're gonna throw, <laughs> and I even want to say what my PR was because it was really bad. But I didn't even think about that. I didn't think about the like praising somebody else for what they did. I we actually had a couple guys my sophomore year. They were seniors that competed um, at state. I think one guy was like top five in discus. Another guy may have been top 10 in shot put, but they both went and I was praising them for that. But never did I think on a random meet on a Tuesday, am I going to praise somebody for a PR when I did just trash on all of my throws? Like I never thought that. That shows a level of maturity that I think the coaches have kind of helped you guys with, or maybe you guys brought that together. Um, is that something the coaches preach to kind of put like, don't go individual, but, but, but think team and supporting everybody that's on the team together. I definitely think that it's something that they think is important and we probably don't harp on it all the time, but that's just because all of us like want to support each other. Like we love to be at meets and if like the guys are throwing one event at one time, like the girls will try to be watching them in between their throws to see what's happening. So it's definitely an important part of our team and the coaches really like find it important, but it's not something I'd say we struggle with all the time, so they don't really have to get on us about like trying to focus on what our teammates are doing. So last thing here, I'm looking at the clock, and I'm not trying to keep you girls too long, but I told you we're going to have a little bit of fun. Both of your individual coaches for your events that they'll be coaching you next week at the National Meet and Marion, they're in this room right now. What is one thing that is goofy or maybe a funny story about your coach, <laughs> Jordan Fivecoat? It's, there's so many, it's so hard to pick. Um, I don't know, I'll, I'll have to think about that for a second because I want to pick a good one. Ooh. I'll let Sydney go. Because I remember, I think the last time Sydney was here, she used that same move and got to go a little bit later. I to get, did. See? I made Evan go first. I'll but now you have to go first. What's, what's a goofy story about, I think Grant's, yeah, there he is. Yeah, he's right there. Yeah. Um, I guarantee you that other people will have, you know, more stories because they've been around a lot longer. But uh, I'll just tell you what he did at practice today. Um, <laughs> so they just cut the grass around the ring. So there was like grass all in the ring. So I was getting it out. And then all of a sudden, these these ants come out of this ant hill, And they're like all over the ring. And they're, he decides that it's going to be a good idea to s start stepping on them. Because, you know, yeah. he's like, great. And that was a good idea. Um, they end up crawling up his like <laughs> shoes. And they get like in his socks and in his pants. And he's like trying to get them out. And he's just walking around. And he tells me, he's like, ants have hated me forever. <laughs> Maybe because you just killed like half of their population. <laughs> Time's up. It's your turn. <laughs> um, I, there's so many stories. But I don't know. I guess something funny that like Jordan does like most of the time at practice is sometimes he'll pick up a javelin. He has his own style of how he throws a javelin. Yes. Okay. And it's completely wrong. It's, yeah, that's true. It's just completely wrong. But he does it anyway. And he still throws pretty far. So he does use a women's javelin. Oh. But it's still pretty funny because sometimes we'll, like, do the clap. And sometimes he'll throw further if we do the clap. But, <laughs> yeah. It's just kind of entertaining. <laughs> I love it. I love it. One last question for both of you. I'm going to go with the freshman first, the senior second. What does it mean to compete at the outdoor national meet next week? Um, I mean, obviously, like, it means a lot, obviously, not just for me. Like, I'm super excited that I've gotten this far, especially my freshman season, when you come in and you don't know what this athlete's going to do. You don't know how they're going to adapt. Um, but I also think it means a lot to Grant that he gets to go and that he gets to have an athlete that's worked hard enough and has put in the work to like actually make it to that level. So it's really just 
it's an accomplishment for me, but it's also an accomplishment for Grant and the whole coaching staff. What does it mean for you, Emma, to compete in the outdoor national meet next week? This means a lot for me personally, because my journey has not been very straightforward. I've done a lot of different events. I've tried to take a lot of different paths with track and field. I've done sprinting, I've done jumping, I've done throwing. And when I found Javelin and Coach Five Coat was like, I'll be the one to help you with that. And we can do this. We can figure this out. That this is a reflection of what we've done together. Yeah. And I'm ready to just lay it all out there and make my last throwing of it my my best throw, that's for sure. I really appreciate Emma Byram, Northwestern High School grad, also throwing next week in the National Outdoor Meet at Indiana Wesleyan for coming on the show. Also, Sydney Duncan once again coming on the show, competing in two events next week at Indiana Wesleyan for coming on the show as well. Guys, this has been the Cougar Cast. We'll see you next time.